to a nice split so I'm going to pull out. So yeah, another new set of tyres due to potholes. And a lovely chunk out of the wheel in the process. Somehow I didn't manage to crack these fragile MV4s. Did this rear one about four months ago. So I replaced the back two. And did this one a couple of nights ago, so I replaced the front two. Didn't really mind on the back as they were on their way out anyway. But the front's had well, about four and a half mil left on them. So now we've got the Hankook Ventus V12s all round. See what they're like compared to the Eagle F1s. I didn't really give much confidence in wet weather, the F1s. And as you can see, it's pissing down today. It should make the weekend a bit more fun when we take those two out, do some local lanes. Come down today to fit a few new bits. New light switch panel from the LCI model. And the same for the start stop button. The LCI start stop button. The LCI light switch panel. Main difference on the button. Bit of a brush look instead of the chrome. And the only difference on the light switch. This little chrome piece here. Fitting the button should be quite easy. I think we just pull this back to get access to the back of it. Unplug it. New one in. Light switch. Don't know. Start pulling things out. See what happens. Hope that's not important. Right. Got it unplugged. Now there should be some tabs on the back to squeeze and pop it out. Like so. New switch. Should probably test that it works. Yep, ignition on. Let's find out where this came from. Is that all right now the light switch there we go I think we just unplug and pull.
interesting little clip. Yeah, get things like that on the clear. Push this back in. And then the vent over the top. Job done. a bit smarter than before. Right, chuck these old bits in the drawer. While it's still absolutely pissing down, I'm going to treat the windows as well while I'm here. Put the G5 so I can actually see where I'm going. Next job is a small but really rather annoying problem which is the fuel cap no longer pops out by itself and if you've got a 330i you'll be trying to open this a lot standing in the petrol station trying to grab it with your nails is not ideal it's all this little bugger's fault Loosen these tabs. Pop it out. Move one in. the car's lock. Nothing. Job done. 